Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is going to be very exciting because we are going to be talking about the update for Essence for spring 2023. I'm going to be telling you what I know about the new Essence makeup. So let's get into it. So I already did a video like this about the Catrice update and I'm going to do the same style of video here with the Essence. Once again, a huge, huge, huge shout out to Mizolda. She has found out all of this information and she has shared it in her video. She is always like super fast with the Essence and Catrice news. So I would highly recommend you following her. One thing, she is a German YouTuber. I can kind of follow her because I am Dutch. But if you're interested in Essence and Catrice, if you want to kind of be in the know, be the first to know, I would highly suggest you check out her channel. So let's get into the new Essence makeup. First up, I have here the 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is gonna be a new line of liquid lipsticks. I don't think I've ever really tried a Essence liquid lipstick, maybe once, but I wasn't impressed enough with it that I actually remembered if I liked it. We have the shade Soft Red, which looks a little bit like a terracotta red. And then we also have the shade Deep Rust, which is kind of like a chocolatey brown almost. This shade actually makes me slightly interested in this line. I don't know if I would actually try it. I'm a bit scared it's gonna be drying but this shade looks really nice. Then we have the shade Golden Rose which is kind of like a peachy nudie rose. A little bit more soft. We have a Misty Rose also a rose but more like bright. These shades are very much in the same kind of range of tones and then we have a rusty copper which is once again kind of like a soft red almost a little bit like a burned orangey red it has some pink in there as well i think this looks pretty interesting i don't know if i'm gonna try it myself then we have a new extreme shine volume lip gloss this is a very cool toned pink almost purpley pink i believe there was also another shade but i can't seem to find it here i think maybe i didn't save that one in the right way so i will put the name and the photo over here on the screen um where you will still be able to see it but i don't remember what that one was but i think there was another one then we also have a new shade of the soft and precise lip pencil and this is the shade nude mood so this is kind of like a soft rosy shade this is just a shade update then we have two new highlighters these are the give me glow luminous glow highlighters and we first have the shade glowy champagne we also have the shade lovely rose so these are pretty standard highlighter shade a rosy shade and more champagne shade in a way i would like to know about these highlighters i would like to know if they're good might watch a video i don't know if i'm gonna pick them up myself because they look a little bit too makeup revolutionary for me like this wave pattern looks very much makeup revolution and i don't know how I feel about it, if I think that looks attractive. I feel like I'm kind of too wired to think about Makeup Revolution and it doesn't really attract me. Like, I think they could have done something a little different. Now it feels a little bit like a dupe of another very affordable brand, a little bit strange. Then we have two new shades of the Hydra Matte Lipsticks. I have to say, I really like this formula. It's very comfortable, it's very nice. It does smell quite sweet, like the scent you have to like i'm a bit like so so about it it's not the worst it's not the best but it's very like candy sweet so if you're sensitive to scents maybe not buy this one so we have a nude mood which kind of like a rosy nude a very pink in the undertone and we have rock and rose which is a very similar shade only a little bit brighter rose don't know if i would pick any of these up i already have a rosy shade of this line and i have a more like honey nude of this line i think that's enough for me but i would recommend these i think they're nice then we have new shades of the juicy balm and these are all very like fruit inspired and then we have one that is called bubblegum which is interesting so let's start with the shade bubblegum this is a very cool toned kind of deeper pinky purple then we also have oh it's called bouncy bubblegum juicy bomb bouncy bubblegum then we have a lovely lychee we have poppin pomegranate we have proud papaya we have witty watermelon um i personally have not tried this formula i don't know if it's any good but these types of formulas uh, they don't really attract me. They don't really make me feel like, oh, I really have to try that. So I don't know if I will. Then we have some lashes. The Light as a Feather 3D Fake Mink Lashes. 
and we have one style that is called all about light and one style that is called light up your life very interesting names i don't personally wear lashes i will not be testing these out um i also haven't really heard anything about essence lashes if they are good or not now we have two new long lasting eye pencils we have the shade all you need is a lab like lavender i think this is a pretty cute shade i personally don't really wear a lot of eyeliners for some reason i always feel like it looks a bit weird when i put an eyeliner in my waterline i don't know if it's just me i don't know if it actually looks weird on me but i don't really do it i think this shade is really cute though this would be something that i would actually try out then we have the shade shimmer sensation and this is a bright orange shimmery one it seems i think this one looks really fun for summer let's continue with the luminous eye tint we have three different shades of eye tint very nudie very soft kind of shades first up we have the shade dazzling rose which actually looks quite nice but i don't know if it's going to be worth it to have this in the liquid formula but like this shade I could get on board with. I think this is a cute shade. We also have Gleaming Charm. Looks like a pretty basic champagne. Don't know if I need this in my life. Then we have a Shimmering Taupe. Also pretty basic. I think if I would be persuaded, it would be by the Dazzling Rose. But I don't know if I would end up buying a liquid eyeshadow. Usually I don't really reach for them. I have tried a few ones, but I never felt like they were special enough to actually like reach for them. Then we have the Multitask Concealer. This one has six shades. This is the deepest shade. I have not written down the names for some reason. So just all the info. I will put as much info as I can here next to me on the screen. But we have six shades and it's kind of like this brush applicator seems a bit like the one that i always use from i always use this one from elf to kind of clean up under my eyes after i do my eyeshadow seems very similar to it if i wouldn't have bought this one recently i would have like tried this out but now i feel like i don't really need it but it's a nice thing to have i have a use for it i love these types of product because it's just so easy to clean up under your eyes and it's not too much coverage if you don't wear foundation which i don't so good thing to use for that the lighter shade it looks pretty light that's a good thing the deepest shade i feel like it could have been a little bit deeper but i don't think this is going to be like a crazy amount of coverage then we have some nail care we have a lot of nail care this is the biggest part i think of this update so if you're into nail care then this is your update we have the two-in-one profile file so we have two steps probably one is going to be a little bit like softer one is going to be a little bit more intense i usually use like a glass nail file and not a file like this but could be nice could be nice and then we have four in one profile file so we have four steps even we also have like a polish like shine step so if you're into that then this could be a nice one we have a anti-split base coat seal and protect we have an anti-split file so i don't really know how that would work extra gentle for thin and brittle nails okay okay could be nice i personally would recommend a glass nail file if you have easily like split nails it's really nice to keep your nails strong this could also work i don't know i'm probably not gonna test any of these files out then when we have the anti-yellow nail whitener this is an instant effect so there is something in this product i don't know exactly what it was but there's something in here that will immediately make them more like fresh and white i think there might be some color in here as certain ingredient pretty interesting but i personally at the moment i always wear nail polish so i'm not really gonna have any use for a product like this then we have a banana file and this is i don't really know what the use is for this kind of file it is an ergonomic shape so is it more easier to hold or is it easier for your nails or i don't really know what this is supposed to be then we have a calcium nail care polish pearl and care i don't really know if it works like that if you can put calcium like from the outside on your nails shouldn't you just be eating like healthy enough and then it will be okay or like there are some things you can do but i don't know if this is gonna really help your nails i am not the expert but it seems a little bit 
like it's not actually gonna work. Then we have a cuticle remover pen. I actually have never removed my cuticles. I don't really see the point. Maybe I will change my mind later on. Maybe I will, but it always seems a little bit strange to me to remove your cuticles. I feel like you can make them look better. You can hydrate them, but, sh but should you remove them? I don't know. I never personally do that. Maybe I will regret that later in life, but I don't think this is really going to be for me. Then we have the cuticle remover, soft and easy, five second and push remover. Same thing same thoughts then we have the cuticle trimmer so this is a tool where you can kind of push them back and you can kind of remove them we have an extreme nail hardener for strong nails i don't really have any issues with that and sometimes you know your nails can get a little bit brittle because of these products i would say be a little bit careful with that usually it's better to hydrate them well and to really hydrate your cuticles and hydrate your hands and eat well like a balanced diet it's gonna do a lot for your hair and nails and skin then we have the grow and glow nail care polish beautifying looks very similar to something we've seen with catrice with the catrice update very similar to something i've seen in one of the limited editions not really something i'm interested in we have the moisture boost nail serum hydrating care if this is what i think it is it is going to be water-based it looks like it's going to be water-based and the thing that is nice about a water-based nail serum is that it's not gonna like reject your nail polish so if you apply this before putting on your nail polish of course don't leave like a thick layer like take it off but you don't have to like scrub and scrub and make sure that every little bit of oil is removed when you use a product like this it is not gonna like reject your nail polish like if you use a nail oil it might not always mix well with the nail polish but this is actually really nice also if you have like dry toenails in the summer and they are like discoloring a little bit and you want to do something to make them look a little bit better underneath the nail polish and this is really nice because you can just kind of leave it on you don't have to like completely wash it off so i'm actually a big fan of this i might Pick this up then we have a nail balm nail and cuticle care Massa massage in and wash off also kind of interesting could also be water-based it depends i would like to see what the ingredients are then we have the nail care pen uh i don't really know what that is supposed to mean nail care can mean uh, can mean many things but okay then we have the nail polish corrector pen could be handy could be handy i don't really use this personally then we have a nail repair oil fast absorbing with avocado oil and vitamin e we also have a prep and plump base coat if you have like ridges in your nails this could be nice and we have the repair and care base coat healthy looking nails i don't know the difference between these i guess the one is rich filling and the other is not but we also have a rich filler base coat for even nails so I don't know which of these is going to be the best for you if you're looking for a kind of like repairing, hydrating base coat. I don't know which of these, but they all sound kind of interesting, I guess. Then we have the nail care oil and that is going to be it for all the nail care. That was a lot of nail care. We also have some nail polishes that are going to be new in the line for the like gel line, the regular nail polish line. We have the shade Coral Me Maybe, which is a very, very bright coral. Very bright. Then Inner Peace. I personally don't really want to think about peas when I do my nails. Like, the shade itself is really cute. But peas? I don't know. I think they've gone a little bit too far with that joke. Then we have Less Bitter, More Glitter. I think this looks really nice. I... I'm gonna see if I can see this in store and probably probably snag it because I love this kind of iridescent, soft, shimmery, glittery kind of topper situations. I'm interested. And then we have Plum It Up. Seems like a nice shade. Power to the Sunflower. These names keep getting better and better. Then we have Pretty in Pink. Red E to Go. And someone like Blue. Like there are some interesting shades in here. I don't know. Mm, I might pick up one and then we also have four shades of the new stay all day concealer this is supposed to stay 14 hours and it is waterproof long lasting sounds kind of interesting could it be good i don't know i'm personally probably not gonna try it but uh yeah some interesting promises so we have the shade light honey light rose 
neutral beige and the deepest shade is warm beige so that is not a very inclusive line not a very deep and with the new stay and play gel eyeliner we have seven or eight we have eight shades so let's see we have the shade black raven we have but first espresso which is still very deep but it has like a slightly purpley undertone it seems we have emerald dragon this one looks really nice i think this is a very cute shade we have Ice Ice Baby, we have Midnight Sky, which is also kind of emerald, but just a slightly different tint, just a slightly bit more turquoise, I think, than Silky Nude. Stardust Love, which is kind of like charcoal, and Fairy Berry, which is a deep berry shade. I think that one looks really nice. Okay, let's move on to the Thick and Brow Fixing Brow Mascara. So there is this brow mascara by Essence and that I think... I think I feel like a lot of people love and I also tried it for me it didn't feel strong enough like my eyebrows they kept falling down which I don't like but I really want like a really really strong um, brow mascara I don't know if this is gonna be it but I'm willing to try it I'm willing to see if I like this so we have the shade espresso brown which is the deeper shade we have caramel blonde which is the lighter shade we have brunette brown which is kind of like a warmish brown and we have ash brown which would be my shade this is the type of shade that i like to use i think because it has voluminizing volumizing fibers i think that looks really like interesting sounds really interesting i would like to try it but so far like the essence and catrice brow products haven't really wowed me okay something that i'm kind of interested in and i might see myself picking one of these up is the new tinted kiss hydrating lip tint i think it is nice that there are options at the drugstore for something like this i was kind of eyeing the fenty beauty lip tints that they had this past year I don't know if they are still available. I was kind of uh, kind of eyeing these, but I felt like they were sold out everywhere. A bit hard to get for me. Couldn't really seem to get a hold of them. But I also felt like they were a bit expensive, and it probably would be possible to find something similar cheaper. And now this could be something. So we have the shade Chili and Chill, which is kind of like a bright orangey red. We have Coral Colada, which is kind of like a pinky nude. We have Marvelous, which is a mauve shade. I really like the look of this shade. And we have Pink and Fabulous, which is a very warm, light pink. I think the shade that I would like to try is Coral Colada. I think this is really cute. But also the shade Chili and Chill could be something. Could be interesting. I could be into that. All right, then we have some eyeshadow palettes so we have the blooming wings eyeshadow palettes but they all have different under titles is that how you say it in english like in dutch you would say under titles so they are all different but they're all the same like blooming wings line and i believe there was a blooming wings palette before i don't know if it was in the regular line or the limited editions but we have first up blooming wings i'm so fly and this is kind of like a pastelli kind of half bluish purple half corally palette i actually by the look of it don't think that this is gonna be amazing quality there's just something about some essence products when you look at the packaging you can kind of already tell it's not gonna be amazing and i have a feeling that this might not be amazing i don't think i'm gonna be picking this up then we have blooming wings let me be your wings and this looks very much like the huda beauty new nude so i don't need this because i have the huda beauty new nude i'm probably not gonna try this then we also have the blooming wings you give me butterflies and this is just a very neutral nude palette with a pop of soft red these don't really interest me i don't think that i'm gonna be picking up any of these eyeshadow palettes and then we have a bronzing stick and it seems to be only in one shade this is the essence baby cup bronze cinnamon spice looks a bit warm for me like a bit too warm for me it's a bit it's an interesting thing just coming out with one bronzer shade usually they at least have two still not enough still by far not enough but it's something so i don't think i'm gonna be picking this one up maybe if i hear people say that it is amazing but the look of it it doesn't really seem to be my type of shade and yeah the packaging doesn't really make me jump for joy then we have the essence electric glow color changing lip and cheek oil i have tried one of the essence color changing 
things and that was enough that was more than enough i don't need anymore i don't want anymore so it looks kind of fun but i think that's the only thing it has going for it i think this is just like a gimmicky product that they hope like young people are gonna buy then we have the lash like a boss instant lift and curl mascara i believe a lash like a boss was already a thing but now it's a curl mascara i'm probably not gonna buy this or try this but if they would come out with some more brown mascaras, I could be persuaded to try some more essence. Like in the past they had the, uh, what was it called? In the pink tube, in the pink packaging, that was a very voluminizing mascara. They had it in like black brown. I like that one, but they could discontinued the brown shade. Very sad. Then we have the Essence Hello Good Stuff Fresh Glow Peel Off Mask with Blackberry Extract and Hyaluronic Acid. I think this sounds kind of interesting. I do have sensitive skin, so sometimes I have trust issues and I really have to read the whole ingredient list to see if there's nothing there that's gonna like break me out or give me rashes or give me eczema. So I can't really say yet, but it looks kind of cute. I do have to admit, it looks kind of cute. I like the color of that. Then we have the Hydro Fixing Spray. The Hello Good Stuff 48 Hour Hydro Fixing Spray with Coconut Water. It sounds really nice. If you don't have any problems with coconut water, go for it, I would say. But I personally break out from coconut water, so this is a pass for me. Then we have the Intense Hydro Gel with Aloe Water and Hyaluron. Sounds interesting once again, but did you know that Aloe Vera can be kind of irritating, especially if you have eczema? Keep an eye on that. If you have sensitive skin and you use aloe vera, it can be irritating. So I usually steer away from that. Then we have the Lift and Curl Volumizing Mascara. Uh, yeah, another mascara, another black mascara. Then we have the Nail Vibes Nail Art Stickers. Uh, I feel like this kind of is throwing me back to... to 2014 seems a little bit outdated maybe and not really for me not really the type of nail sticker that i would be into then we have the essence nails in style keep it basic artificial press on nails i believe and these have kind of like a see-through base and then a french tip to them can't really see it in this photo but that seems to be the case and we have nails in style rose and shine so these are rosy kind of nude rosy press on nails and we have a peachy blossom blush and highlighter palette with very like bright red peachy blushes and a pink and gold highlighter. I actually quite like the inside of this packaging, like the flowers and like purple to peach situation. Looks kind of interesting, makes me think a bit of like Lunar Beauty packaging. I don't know if I dare to pick this up because I don't know if this is gonna be good. I don't know if this is gonna be like good enough. I would like to see it in store. I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna be worth it, worth trying out, but I like that it's a bit different. It's a bit interesting. I would like to hear what people think about it. Oh, here's the other shade of the Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. This is Power of Nude. It looks like a nice shade. I personally feel like these lip glosses are just a little bit too thin thick they just lay on the lips a little bit too much like they're not bad but i have ones that i like a lot more even though they're a bit more expensive i tend to reach for other lip glosses then we have another color changing lipstick situation and this is the space color space glow color changing balm it looks fun I think it looks fun. I totally get that, but I don't need this in my life. Then we have a Stay All Day 16 Hour Color Update. This one is a shade Soft Buff. I have not Soft Buff. <laughs> soft Buff. Um, I don't know what the shade range used to look like. So there's another shade. Here you go. And then uh, lastly, we have the Super Fine Brush Liner Waterproof. Uh, not really something that I personally am gonna use a black liner, but it's nice that it's like super fine It could be something cool By the way, I believe there were a few other things Announced so I'm just gonna see if I can find those All right, Mizolda posted this on her community tab. So let's quickly talk about this so we have another city palette this is the beijing city palette i tried one of the city palettes didn't like it probably not going to be picking this up the quality was very subpar and then we have the baby gut blush so we don't only have the bronze gut blush or baby gut bronze bronze gut blush bronze gut baby 
We have the Baby Girl Blush in a very like bright pink shade and a very like mauve shade. Once again, I think it looks a little bit cheapy. I don't know if it's gonna be my thing. Um, then we have some more press on nails with some golden glitters and we have a brighten up powder. That's gonna be everything. That's gonna be everything I have to show you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and let me know what things you are most excited about. What would you like to see me review? I am always taking those things in consideration and then I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. <laughs>